Hello guys, what is up? Okay, so in this video, I know it's been a little bit since I've released a new video, but okay, what I am doing in this video is simply showing you safely how to convert your PS3 system from KEX to DEX. If this is for current jailbreak users only, so if you already have a jailbreak, you can do this, but if you're trying to jailbreak your PlayStation, this ain't the video for you, so just get off it right now and get redirected back to something else. This is only for conversion of KEX to DEX. So simply, what you're going to do is first, you want to get on and download this, Rebug Toolbox. And the other thing you have to do is go to System Update and you have to download the Rebug 4.75.3 update. This is the latest right now. So first what you can do is install this update, okay? So go to system update, just do it right from your storage media and then rename you have to rename the file to PS3 update. And then after you do that, it's gonna reboot and it's gonna say rebug for the title. So instead of saying PS3, it'll say rebug. Well, then you'll notice like some things have changed, like some of these things, instead of saying install package files, it now says package manager, and then it says install package files, delete package files, or you can go right in the PlayStation Network content there and it's just got your shit right there, okay? Well, once you've done that, you're going to want to go on to rebug. And since I've already done this, I will show you what you have to do though. So you make sure you have a flash card in your device right now, so in your PS3. So you're going to go to see system information, LV2 kernel, KEX, target type, KEX. Now I want to change it to DEX. So simply what you do, system mode, you're on normal. Debug menu type, you just leave it on KEX, QA, enabled, Cobra, okay, I have Cobra on. Okay, Cobra is enabled. And then you leave these alone, don't mess with those. Leave that. Okay, toggle QA. See, when you're... That's why you have, you have to go to the system update first and install either the Rex, do the Rex and then the D-Rex. So once you've done that, then go on to here, and you're going to notice that this is going to say install, and you won't be able to mess with that. But first what you want to do is make sure you have your toggle QA flag enabled. Go down to export your flash to file. So you're going to export your flash of your system onto your USB, and then after you do that, Go to dump EID root key. Your PS3 is then going to reboot and then beep three times. After you do that, you got to boot your computer. So here, I'm just going to try it right now for you guys. So if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to redo it. So export my flash to file, okay? Just so you guys keep track of it. And dump EID root key. It's going to reboot and beep three times. And you'll notice that when it boots up, it's going to say rebug. Okay. Then it's going to say, obviously, system updates required, but I don't want to go on the new update, so I still want to stay on my jailbreak. Okay, what you're going to do now is go on to rebug toolbox, open it up. Once this shit's loaded up, after you've done that and rebooted it, after you've dumped it, then the next step you do is go over. You're going to rewrite the target ID in Flash. And click that. It says found EID root key. Do you want automatic conversion from sex to dex or kex? It's going to do it for you. And it's already did it. Okay, switch between retail and debug kernels. LV2 kernel successfully changed to dex debug. System restart required, so okay, it's going to reboot one more time. Just goes through a reboot pattern, and then once it's done with that, we boot back up, and I'll show you guys that it's in dex mode, and that is it. See, rebug. See, when you go on the rebug.me website, I will post the links in the description for everything that you need. But you're going to go to the rebug.me and then download the Rex version first. Then, after you've done all this that I just did, you can now download the D Rex version because you need 
to have the Rex, which is like the Kex version of it. Rex is like Kex for retail. And then the D-Rex is the Dex version. So now you go on to Rebug. Then check your system information. And there you go. LV2 kernel, Dex. Target type, Dex. And then, good. Alright. Go back. Simply quit back to the XMB menu. And then what you can do from there is, if you want to update it to the Dex, I'll just do that right now. I'm going to do the D-Rex. And then, from there, that is it. I already have it on my flash drive, so it... It should just automatically go. It was popping up with an error because it wasn't on deck. See, now it's going to update it and install it to the system storage and everything. But that is it. That is the simple conversion of how to get it from Kex to Dex and the other way around. If you want to go back to Kex for some reason, say because of a download or something you're trying to do for a game, and if it's only for a Kex and not Dex version, then you just simply switch and flop it around, and there you go. That is it, and that's all you have to do. But other than that, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this. And leave me questions and comments. I will do the best to get back to everyone that I can. Just hit me up on my social networks, too. It's on my About tab on my YouTube channel. So give it a shot, and I'll see you guys. Thank you for watching.